Hello everyone and welcome to Full Sail Studios in sunny San Francisco, California, beautiful Orlando, Florida, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I'm Richard Tiemann and this, and this, and this, might take a few tries. Good morning, Storm Nation. I'm Richard Tiemann reporting to you from the Sanford Field House in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and this is your storm warning. Here we are in Seattle, Washington for the XFL Showcase Seattle. I'm here with Commissioner Oliver Luck. What is it like to be Dan Patrick? I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> and I, I mean that with all sincerity. Week one of NFL preseason kicks off tomorrow night, and the coaches will get a first-hand look at their rookies under the bright lights. Guess we'll see which new kids on the block have. Oh, 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 the right stuff. The kicker is one of the most criticized positions in all of sports because people think they only have one job to do. So how hard could it be? Turns out it's a lot harder than you think. Introducing first from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Ooh. the lover boy, Nikki Valentine. It's time now for the Battle of the Beards. In this segment, Wesley and I have a topic. I make a convincing case, and Wes tries to tell me I'm wrong. I caught up with Midwest Professional Wrestling to see how they feel about being back in action. How do you feel about that? Huh? I didn't take that. Speaking of change, three years ago, we saw the women main event WrestleMania for the first time in WWE history. And now, it's a regular occurrence. Good timing, too, is the Women's Triple Threat Championship main evented NXT TakeOver in your house this last weekend. And what a must-see match it was. Rhea Ripley, Io Shirai, and the champion, the queen, Charlotte Flair, Triple Threat rules, anything goes, who would emerge victorious? The champion, frustrated late in the match, gets a kendo stick and starts swinging for the fences, anything and everything in her path then finally looks to have things under control, puts the figure eight on Ripley, but out of the sky, it's Io Shirai for the one, two, three, and new NXT Women's Champion, Io Shirai. And it feels like the first time. Oh, sorry, song's been stuck in my head all day. Why, you ask? Because it was on this day in sports history that the Toronto Raptors got their first. It was one year ago today, Game 6 of the NBA Finals in Toronto would upset the defending champions, the Golden State Warriors, 114-110, to earning their first championship in franchise history. Benjamin Franklin once said, Time lost is never found again. But for independent promotions like Nick Dinsmore's Midwest All-Pro Wrestling, it wasn't just time his students lost because of COVID-19, it was experience in the ring as well. They need the repetition. They need to go out there and do the moves over and they need to be able to perform in front of a crowd. But to sustain our crowd and our fans, we just need to have events so that you know people can come and have an, have an event. It's like family. They may look like the very definition of a dysfunctional family, but looks can be deceiving. In fact, Midwest All-Pro veteran Brandon Nitro was more excited for the new guys to get some ring time than he was for himself. Just to see these new kids be able to get in the ring and be doing what they want to do, what they dream to do, it's awesome. Because you don't do anything. Yes, sir. There's children. Good job. So just how does it feel to be back in action? When I'm in that ring, it's, it's the best thing. It's, see, hearing the cheers, hearing the boos, no matter what they're doing, as long as they see you doing your job and they're happy, I'm happy. I think we're all just happy that live events are finally back, especially some good old-fashioned wrestling. From Sioux Falls for Full Sail Live, I'm Richard Tiemann.